Good evening and welcome to tutorial number 61. Tonight we will be exploring uh, stereo bandpass filters. Let's start right away. We start with the knit patch, which is 8 foot sawtooth. Okay, let's set up two bandpass filters. First we're going to start out in mono and then we will go to stereo. So we select a bandpass filter set the cutoff to 11 key track to 100 percent resonance to 42 I'm just gonna leave it like that for now we're set up a second bandpass filter 24 dB cutoff of 95 key track of 100 and resonance of 42. Also on filter 1, even though Unisono's not, Unisono's not enabled yet, I'm going to set the pan because that's the secret to this. Set the pan to Unisono V minus 64, filter 2 set the pan unisono V minus 64 now right now you're not going to get much on my oscillator I'm going to set my balance right in the middle so it's getting both filters but that's uh, fairly boring because there's no articulation or add some release on the amplitude envelope. So basically it's mixed between this filter and this filter at even 50%. Now I'm going to add some detune with a modifier. So I go to modifier 1 and I'm going to use my uh, undefined uh, chaos generator. Say so modifier 1 XOR LFO 1, set my speed to 5, modulation track 1, I set modifier 1 to 01 pitch, plus 12. Again, uh, I'm not in stereo. Now, Unisono V. D tune of zero. Again, we have no articulation, but we're setting things up as we go. Let's, uh, well, I might as well show you this. In mod slot five, pressure controls O1 amount, M1 amount, and set that to minus 24. It's going to give me some after touch. After touch enabled. After touch disabled. Let's go to a, a regular mod slot. I like to start at 9. And this is where the secrets begin. Okay, so. Take Unisono V to 01 balance. Because unisono is minus 1 for left, 0 for center, and plus 1 for right, it's going to take this, and across the stereo field, it's going to split it. Now you can hear both filters. Ooh, it's not modifier 1, sorry. That's kind of neat, though. It's unisono V. See, you can always uh, create new sounds just by screwing up. Okay, let's set up a filter envelope. We'll go to one shot, attack level of zero, sustain of 127. We'll scroll over to sustain two, set that to zero, set decay, decay two to uh, 92, and this one to 72, the regular decay. Go to filter one. Set envelope mount to 
36, plus 36. On filter 2, set it at half that, minus 16. Listen to the stereo. I have absolutely no effects. Let's just, just go uh, change some things. Talk about gain structure. On my patches, I like to run my patch volume at 90, my velocity at 63. I go here, I turn off this mod source, chorus is gone, reverb is gone. And I compensate for that with my drive, which I usually set about mm, 16 for starters. And because I'm doing equal amounts on each channel, now let's see if there's overloads to meter, I can always pull down the masters. Now we have to change the articulation. So remember how we have modifier one, which is undefined. Modifier one equals modifier one X or LFO one. Well, that can be used for a whole lot of stuff, including having three separate filter articulations in stereo, left, center, and right, based on this uh, chaos generator. So I go modifier one, To filter envelope the K, let's try uh, an extreme amount, let's say 48 for starters. Bring it down to 38. You can hear the stereo. Yes. Now, let's change the oscillator to uh, pulse width. I don't want to say square wave because it's not going to be much of a square wave now. Set pulse width to zero and pulse width amount to filter envelope 58. This will add some real spice to it. Now, let's listen. <laughs> Hear the stereo articulation of the filter because there's three filter envelopes now. Now because uh, um, Unison is set to three. And that's basically it. Let's just listen to a finished patch. This one's called E105. Yes, I'm up to E105 of my custom patches. This one is called Synth God. Same technology. The mod wheel, hit wheel. Remember, there's absolutely no effects. Either, ooh, that's a, that's be turned off, but no effects. Have a good evening. Time to put it on YouTube.